Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to take a look at a set of speakers from Majority. So what we have here is a set of bookshelf speakers and the model is D40, it says here they're active speakers and these are from Majority and they were kind enough to send this out to review. So this is available on Amazon, however it looks like right now it says it's unavailable so I'm not really sure of the exact price uh, but I believe it's between $60 and $70 which isn't bad for these uh, speakers here. So these do offer quite a few features, I'm not really sure of the wattage on these but it does offer quite a few uh, different ways to connect to it. So you do have Bluetooth, you have USB, auxiliary playback, and it does have an SD card slot, and you can have a 64 gig SD card in this uh, to play music. So let's take a look at the box real quick, and then we'll go ahead and unbox this and see what we get inside. So on the front, on the side of the box, actually, you see we have the D40 uh, branding. We do have a picture of the speakers. They look really nice. On the top, it just has D40 active speakers. On the back here, we get a little bit more information. So it does say they're active speakers, so self-powered with built-in amplifiers for amazing stereo sound. Has USB aux and SD card playback. It does have Bluetooth 5.0, and it does include a remote control. You also have a three-year warranty, uh, so you register your product uh, with a little QR code right here, and then you get three years of support. And here's a little picture showing it next to a record player, but of course you can use this on your TV, uh, you could use it with a streaming player, or you could use it on your computer, something like that. On this side just says majority. And then on the other side, it just says majority on it. This is such a big box, so it's a little hard to film this, but let's go ahead and see what we get inside. So here are the contents from the inside of the box. So of course we get our speakers themselves. They look pretty nice. And we also get a user manual for majority. We get our remote control. And as you can see, we have a few controls on here. So we do have a power, a reset button, a mute, volume up and down, uh, track forward and back, play, pause. We do have the treble up and down, bass up and down, and our mode button there. We also get a power plug for the speakers themselves. We get inside here, batteries for our remote. We do have an auxiliary cable, so we have a 3.5 millimeter aux cable, as well as an RCA cable, so the red and white right there. And then on top of that, we also get an optical cable. So you do get a lot of cables in here included, so you can connect this to different peripherals if you have those. All right, let's take a closer look at the speakers themselves. So as you can see, they do have a little plastic covering on here. So it is nice black plastic underneath these. So it'll be nice and shiny on the front. On the sides of them, it does have this kind of uh, wood grain here. Um, not sure if it's real wood or not, but looks really nice. And it will go really well with uh, whatever motif you may have in your house. So really nice there. Uh, you do see we have majority branding at the bottom and the speakers are open and exposed. So I think that looks really good. Now on the back of the left speaker, we just have the uh, subwoofer and then you have the connection to the left speaker. So you can see that is in the RCA style plug and that goes into the right speaker. And this looks like it is decently long, so you should have enough space between them and not have anything, uh, any issues with the length of the cord. On the side of the right speaker is where all the magic happens. So this one has on the side a mode button. We do have a volume up and down button and a track forward and backward button, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So you can actually plug in headphones to this. You also have indicators for which auxil auxiliary you're using at the time. So you have aux, Bluetooth, USB, optical, or SD. On the back, you can see we have uh, a lot more going on. So we do have our plug for our left speaker. We have an optical in. We do have a physical on off switch. We have our power right there, as well as a USB for a USB stick and a micro SD for again, up to a 64 gig uh, SD card. And as you can see, uh, the design looks really nice. And these are, you know, not too big, not too small, but they should look really nice on a shelf. And again, you can use these with music uh, or you can use them on your computer or with your TV. So taking a quick look at our controls on the remote as well as the uh, speaker, uh, we do have, of course, as I mentioned previously, this does have a reset button. We have a mute button. You do have a volume up and down. We have a track forward and backward as well as play pause. You do have treble up and down and bass up and down as well as a mode toggle. Now uh, the mode toggle will only work if you actually have something plugged into these other uh, different ports. However, right now it won't because I don't have anything plugged into them other than the Bluetooth. Um, and you also have very limited, uh, you know, stuff you can do with this. So there's no equalizer. There's no any crazy stuff you can do with the sound itself. It does sound good, mind you, but uh, you know, you are getting a pretty budget uh, set of speakers. Uh, but again, they do sound good. So it's not really that big of a deal, but uh, you're just a little limited on the sounds, uh, the sound equalizer and, you know, bass and treble is really all you can do with this. So nothing crazy. Now, um, again, so you can switch between modes on this. 
it'll only switch if you actually have something plugged into them and you do get an indicator on the side of the speaker uh, that it is uh, connected. So you have the auxiliary, so that'll be your 3.5. You have your Bluetooth, it is blinking because it's in pairing mode and it'll show up on your phone or your device as majority D40. And once you do connect it, it does give you an audible uh, notice that it is connected. Uh, so it'll say Bluetooth connected or Bluetooth disconnected. So you know that it actually is connected. Uh, now in addition to that, you have the USB and optical. I have an SD card, and again, that SD card can hold up to 64 gigs, so I don't know if it'll read anything bigger than that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any way to test that, uh, but I, I would hope it would. Um, but then it also supports a bunch of different file formats, so uh, whatever kind of music you listen to or formats you use, hopefully this one will play it. It does seem to support quite a few, so I'll try to list those in the uh, comments or the details of this video so you can get an idea of what file formats it does support if you do want to use a USB stick or an SD card. So on the side, we do have that same mode button, so this will switch between the modes. And again, it won't do anything if you don't have anything plugged into it. Uh, you do have uh, the plus and minus for volume, so that is gonna turn it up and down. And if you wanted to actually go forward a track or backward a track, you just hold it. So you hold it on the side and then it'll skip a track or go back a track. And then in addition to that, you get that 3.5 millimeter headset jack. All right, so I have them all hooked up and I do have my uh, iPhone 8 here plugged in, well, Bluetooth to these speakers. So I just wanna give you a quick sample of how they sound. Now, of course, this is coming from an iPhone, so it's probably not gonna sound uh, just like it actually does in real life. However, I can say that they do sound pretty good. Um, and considering the price, it's really not bad. They do have built-in subwoofers, so they do have a little bit of bass um, and they do get pretty loud. So I'm pretty impressed so far. So here's just a quick sample of these and hopefully this gives you an idea of what you'll be getting if you do decide to purchase these speakers. guys so this has just been a quick look at the d40 bookshelf speakers from majority so it does offer quite a few ways to connect to these and you can use this with music you can use this with your tv with your computer however you want to use them uh, pretty nice set of speakers and decently priced as well so again just remember these are a budget set of speakers so they're not going to have a bunch of crazy uh, choices for equalizer or anything like that but they do sound pretty good and i was pretty impressed with them for the price so again i believe they're about 60 to 70 dollars um hopefully they come back in stock on amazon soon I'll leave a link down below where you guys can check these out and I'll leave those file formats that are supported uh, for SD or USB so you can see uh, you know if the file format that you use is supported and if you guys have any questions or comments about these speakers please feel free to let me know uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick video on these speakers and I'll see you guys in the next one